No Man's Sky was published back in 2016, and since then it has come a very, very long way. I was one of those people who bought it somewhere near launch day on Steam, and well, the Steam refund policy came in extra useful. To be frank, the game went from this, an empty exploration game with no set goals and limited features, to this, a rich, expansive open world, or should I say worlds, filled with life and different possibilities for players to explore together or alone. Here in 2023, No Man's Sky, after countless live updates, this game is thriving. And that is why in today's video, I decided to pick up the game again and give it a playthrough. This single game was one of the most anticipated releases of its time, promising vast amounts of exploration across unlimited amounts of in-depth planets. And like all hype trains these days, they seem to arrive at the wrong station. Players like myself who downloaded the game found nothing but disappointment. Glitches, empty worlds, and just an experience which was the opposite of what the game devs promised prior to release. But, to everyone's surprise, No Man's Sky here in today's world has made one of the biggest comebacks in gaming history with the latest large content update being on the 24th of August this year. Adding in so much content, it deserves its own video. And that is excluding talking about the countless updates prior to that and the ones yet to come. So with all that said, it was time for me to embark on my first actual steps in No Man's Sky and experience the vast exploration for the first time since 2016. I decided to start up a brand new adventure, making sure to select the normal mode to get the intended experience. Not to be confused with the many different options selectable when starting out on the main menu. We awaken on an undisclosed planet with no recollection of how we got here or why we are here. Can I kill you? Wait, offer food. Probably shouldn't have done that. I just want to get off and like start doing stuff. This all feels so like way too tutorial-y. I don't know how else to describe it. It's uh, like I feel like I don't have legs. At first glance, the first set of missions do lean towards the more barren side of the game, feeling much more linear than what I expected. Getting you to travel from point A to B, collecting different resources to build your ship, and teaching you the basics of the game. The Awakening tutorial itself takes around 1-2 to two hours to complete, and I won't lie to you here boys, it is the least amount of content this game has to offer, and left me feeling, well, incredibly bored. But, if you stick to what the game has to offer later on, it's all completely worth it. After repairing your ship and learning more of the basics, you are sent to a brand new planet, where you are tasked with building a base. The planet the game sent me to wasn't exactly lush in any way, so I'm not entirely sure why the game forces you to build here, as that was the last thing I wanted to do. But alas, I built the most simple base you could, knowing I will be changing that later down the line. Don't actually want to build a base here. What do it want me to do? Oh, roof. Wait, this one. Finally, I was free to explore the galaxy, and after completing more of the main story missions, I was able to travel to the Space Anomaly. Now, the Space Anomaly acts as a hub world for players from around the different galaxies to interact, plan quests and voyages, and so much more. After speaking with various NPCs, I was free to explore the Space Anomaly, customize my character, and boy, the character customization be customizing. <gasps> what? <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Body shape. My body shape feels weird. I don't know why. There you go, I feel like that one. Yo! <laughs> I look like a f superhero, what is this? <laughs> I may 
I'm gonna change it. <laughs> Dude, I can be some weird sh What the f I actually kind of like this colorway. With that out of the way, I embarked on my first Nexus mission. Now these are various types of missions that you can take on to do things such as gather valuable materials, hunt down certain creatures and fight space pirates. Yes, I said that, space pirates. So me being me, you already know I was gonna be hunting down some pirates on a bounty mission. And let's just say this was a lot harder than I anticipated. This one sounds more fun. Okay, so let's do this mission. See, I, I so happen to specialize in pirate stuff, so this should be fun. Whoa. I'm really not good at this. Bang! First ship down. Get absolutely... Oh, okay. Maybe smoke two suit <laughs> this is definitely way above my pay grade holy okay oh it's s to lock on okay that makes things so much easier oh my god that is that actually was game changing Uh, return to the Nexus. Oh, right, okay. So, I did actually finish it. I just needed to lose the... Gotcha. That was way harder than I thought, but I think I was just making it difficult for myself. Now that was done, I headed back to the Anomaly to collect my rewards. This is where the game opens up. You can decide, you know what, I'm going to explore different parts of the galaxy. Well, in order to do that, you need to craft certain resources to power your hyperdrives to get from galaxy to galaxy. Don't feel like doing that? Well, explore nearby planets for habitats and base building. Don't feel like doing that? Take on some Nexus missions to do a variety of things. And guess what? If you don't feel like doing that, you've got various branches of the main story to work on. It's this amount of freedom which I was working towards when you first boot up a new world. And it's so worth it when you get there. I decided to take a break from the main flow of the game, taking time to explore distant galaxies, upgrade gear, and just take in the beauty of No Man's Sky. And I mean, seriously, look at this. Whoa, this is so crazy. What are you? Do, are you friendly or no? What the f- On my travels, I came across plenty of different resources, creatures, and also some enemies. And little did I know, this would end up in the most rewarding way possible. That's what I've come to love about this game is that you are rewarded for exploring, whether that be physical or just the reward of finding new cool things here and there. After picking up some valuable resources, I'd attracted some sentinel attention whilst doing so. The sentinels act as a wanted level of sorts. Much like other games, the more you fight back instead of fleeing, the wanted level increases. I tried to flee into space, but it was here where I ended up in a space battle way harder than I was supposed to handle at this stage in the game. God, that must have landed, like, on me. Nice. All right, where is it? Let's go. Come on. All right. That's that done. Let's charge our shield. Shields are down. Yo, let's go. Let's go. After defeating a Sentinel capital ship, I was given coordinates to a crashed damage ship. And I know what you're all thinking. Surely you won't be able to take that ship. It's just another one of those linear quests with little physical reward at the end. But no, you'd be wrong. The ship was mine. 
Claim ship. Yo, what? No way. Yo! <laughs> Get me out. This is sick. After picking up a brand new ship, it just brought to my attention how open this game is. You can do pretty much anything you want after you get past the initial threshold of the tutorial. I didn't really get to test out too much of the multiplayer, so I'll just cover expeditions, which are shared seasonal experiences which allow you to unlock gear and other items which can be used back in your main saved world. Simply put, expeditions are timed events in which you embark on galactic trips from one specific point in the galaxy to another. They encompass several challenges and achievements exclusive to each named expedition. Each expedition has a unique starship that you must use to complete the event. Once completed, there is a multitude of items and rewards waiting for you. Outside of expeditions, you can also invite your friends to join your world and share your experience to build together, explore together and more. I have continued to play No Man's Sky to try out the new updates, new features and continue my own journey within the game. For someone like me who goes into games like this with no agenda, I find myself doing different things at every turn. I think what I can see myself doing is going down the base building route within the game because that is just its own beast. Some of the inventive things that people come up with blow my mind. To summarise, No Man's Sky has evolved. It's evolved into an incredible game where you can decide where you want to spend your time in the many worlds in many galaxies. I think there is something here for everyone, including myself. It's really one of the biggest games I've ever played and considering where it has come from to where it is now, it's just insane. After getting through the tutorial, spending more time doing whatever you please, if you haven't given No Man's Sky a second look, I really implore you to do so. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts on No Man's Sky in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, why not subscribe? It's free and lets me know you enjoyed the video. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to our members who keep the channel running. If you want to join them, hit the join button next to the channel to find out more. Take care.